So basically in a solid state battery, we have replaced that volatile and flammable liquid and gel polymer electrolyte. Toyota is investing $8 billion more into its North Carolina battery production plant, the largest such investment by a foreign automaker since the US established the Inflation Reduction Act in 2022. Newly disclosed funds would bring the total investment by the Japanese business at the plant, one of its largest outside Japan, to around $13.9 billion by 2030. It would also raise the total number of workers at the location, which it calls the epicenter of lithium-ion battery production in North America, to over 5,000. The Biden administration championed the IRA, which comprised $370 billion in subsidies to establish a domestic supply chain for environmentally friendly industries like electric vehicle and battery production, and to rapidly decarbonize the American economy. Toyota's expenditure is comparable to that of domestic automakers. For instance, Ford proposed an $11.4 billion expenditure on electric vehicles and batteries in Tennessee and Kentucky in 2021. President of Toyota North Carolina Sean Suggs released a statement saying, Today's announcement reinforces Toyota's commitment to electrification and carbon reduction, bringing jobs and future economic growth to the region. North Carolina gave at least $900 million in incentives for the Toyota facility, which ranks among the largest projects in the state's history. Their partnership with Toyota dates back to 2017 when the Japanese automaker was looking for a location to construct a factory for making internal combustion engines and settled on Alabama. U.S. Ambassador to Japan Rahm Emanuel told the Financial Times, Toyota today has made a big investment that establishes North Carolina as a leader in the EV race for the future. Japanese companies including as Panasonic, Toyota, Honda, Bridgestone, and others have already announced massive new investments in the United States in response to the IRA. Almost $20 billion was invested in clean technology production in Japan in the first year after the IRA was signed into law, according to report. Toyota's announcement is in line with a larger trend of automakers setting their sights on the southern states of the United States for their electrification initiatives. Toyota, the top automaker in terms of sales, announced on Tuesday that the investment would fund the establishment of eight manufacturing lines dedicated to making batteries for fully electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids, bringing the total number of lines to 10. Toyota stated that there would be a gradual increase in production, with line launches scheduled out to 2030 to achieve an annual output of more than 30 gigawatt hour. Christopher Chung, CEO of North Carolina's economic development arm, called it a huge transformative opportunity that is really going to change the economic trajectory, not just of the community and region, but really of North Carolina for decades to come. The United Auto Workers Union's decision to end its historic six-week strike against Detroit's big three car makers, which had cost the companies billions of dollars in lost revenue, marked a turning point for unionization at US EV plants which are disproportionately located in states where such efforts have historically met with little success. High loan rates and macroeconomic pressures have bruised consumer interest, leading to a decrease in the market for EVs in the US auto sector. In recent weeks, major automakers like Ford, GM, and Tesla have halted plans to increase manufacturing of electric vehicles. To catch up to its competitors, Toyota is pouring a lot of money into battery technology. From 2030 onward, the company expects to sell 3.5 million battery-powered vehicles annually and has committed to create electrified versions of all Toyota and Lexus models worldwide by 2025. It is also pouring resources into next-generation battery technology. An important step in the worldwide race to commercialize the technology was taken earlier this month when Toyota claims that it was close to being able to manufacture solid-state batteries at the same rate as existing batteries for EVs. Likewise, on Wednesday, Toyota Motor reported a quarterly profit that more than doubled year-over-year year thanks to increased demand for its hybrid vehicles around the world and favorable fluctuations in the value of the dollar. The automaker increased its dividend and share repurchase program and provided more optimistic forecasts for the fiscal year ending March 31. In trading on Wednesday, its US traded stock rose by 6%. For a long time, Toyota delayed investing much in fully electric vehicles, instead focusing on improving its already highly respected hybrid models. The business ultimately surrendered in June, 
outlining an aggressive plan to make huge investments in improved batteries and to grow sales of its EVs to 1.5 million per year by 2026. However, as consumers shy away from electric vehicles due to rising financing prices and worries about the availability of public charging stations, Toyota is reaping the rewards of increased demand for its reliable hybrids. Toyota's conventional hybrid sales increased by 41% year-over-year to about 888,000, and sales of Toyota's plug-in hybrids increased by nearly 90% year-over-year to around 39,000. Toyota's electrified vehicles, which include both types of hybrids, battery electric models, and fuel cell-powered vehicles, accounted for 36.4% of the company's total global sales in the quarter, up from 27.3% a year earlier. Toyota announced that its operational profit for the quarter ending September 30, the second quarter of its 2024 fiscal year, surged more than 155% from a year ago, to 1.44 trillion yen, $9.5 billion. The increase in operating profit year over year can be attributed in part to the high demand for hybrid vehicles and the high selling prices of Toyota's hybrid models, such as the new Prius. With increased sales across all areas, Toyota's total revenue of 11.44 trillion yen, $75.7 billion, was 24% higher than in the same time a year earlier. The total number of vehicles sold increased to 2.4 million, up about 13% from the previous year. Toyota's earnings improved year over year due in part to favorable currency exchange rates, notably the depreciation of the yen relative to the dollar and the euro. One dollar bought 145 Japan yen on average during the quarter, up from 138 yen in the same period in 2022. The change was even more pronounced when expressed in terms of the euro, where one euro now costs an average of 157 yen compared to 139 yen a year ago. For the fiscal year ending March 31, Toyota also raised its earnings prediction. A 4.5 trillion yen, $29.8 billion, profit forecast has replaced the previous 3 trillion yen forecast. The company forecast that the weaker yen would be responsible for around 1.2 trillion yen of that growth. The company has boosted its dividend from 5 yen per share to 30 yen, 20 cents, per share, and it has also announced a share buyback of 100 billion yen, $662 million. But, how does Toyota makes money? For financial success, Toyota relies on quality, customer service, branding, and innovation. The automotive division is Toyota's bread and butter, and it has many subdivisions based on brand and location. The financial services division and a third, considerably less significant division that engages in a wide range of businesses also contribute to the company's bottom line. There are many different divisions inside Toyota Motor Corporation that all work to emulate the efficient Japanese way of life. In addition to Toyota, it also owns the Lexus, Daihatsu, and Hino brands. The first quarter of 2023 saw Lexus sell over 68,000 vehicles in the United States, demonstrating the brand's popularity. Initially created in the early 1990s, the Lexus brand was created to compete with other new luxury brands from mass-market Japanese automakers like Honda's Acura and Nissan's Infiniti. Later in the luxury market's timeline, Lexus eclipsed those other manufacturers to battle head-on with the likes of BMW and Mercedes-Benz. The organization is structured with regional sales departments for cars. One such subsidiary that designs, manufactures, and markets Toyota cars in the North American market is Toyota Motor North America, which is headquartered in Texas. Toyota's RAV4, Highlander, and Camry respectively ranked 4th, 7th, and 8th in US sales in 2022. Unlike several other large car makers, Toyota generates a relatively small part of its revenue from its finance operations. Toyota is mostly known as a manufacturer, but its financial services section has been expanding and is now an important part of the business. Revenue from automotive operations constituted 91.8% of total sales revenue in FY 2023, while income from financial services constituted just 8.2%. A division of Toyota Motor Corporation, Toyota Financial Services provides credit cards, lending, and other financial products and services to the auto industry. Having said that, what do you think of Toyota as a whole? Share your thoughts in the comment box below.
If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.